um, I forgot to greet you in the actual video. So I'm saying hi to you guys. It's Hopi again. Enjoy the video. Ciao. Okay, so yeah. This is my hair. Uh, last time my hair was in twists and um, I've just let out the twists. And it is damp right now from just in the shower. So that's my 4C hair, as you can see there. Look, I've got a bit of shedding. I haven't detangled. Obviously, like I said, I was just in the shower moisturizing it and wetting it. <laughs> So now, as you can see, that's my hair in the front, um, my side. I am about just below armpit length um, at the back. And in the front, I am just by neck length. Sorry, I'm just. <laughs> Just trying to show you guys my hair, like because last time, as I said, when I was doing my video, it was in twists. Now, I love what they call the lock method. What I use is a leave in a conditioner spray. Uh, basically, most of it has water in it, and it is by Afro Radiance. This is one, um, and then basically, it's yeah, it's a daily invigorating hairspray. 60% of it would be water mixed with glycerin, um, coconut oil, seed oil, castor oil. Um, yeah, so I just would spray it. on product you know because um, you've already moisturized it in the shower so there's no need to actually go overboard with your um, leave-in spray then secondly what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply my shea butter like I said it's lavender oil in here I fix it with coconut oil rosemary and tea tree now lavender oil is obviously for um, smell because shea butter doesn't smell so nice um, and then tea tree oil is for your scalp so you are avoiding dandruff you're gonna have clean itchy -less scalp with your tea tree oil and then um, thirdly your rosemary complements as a carrier oil and also ro rosemary also has a nice smell um, and it helps with locking in the moisture so I'm just gonna um, take a bit of it just so this much this is enough for my whole hair like I said you don't want to when your hair is wet, that's what it needs mostly, you know? You don't want to overload your product with your head with too much product. Time. video when I show you guys how I um, shampoo on my wash days with clarifying apple cider vinegar but anyway I don't want to digress perfect so I'm just gonna do that my grab another for the back because I did more of the front tip, tip, tip. Tap, 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 tap. just yeah so do you see I'm just basically doing the older parts of your hair, that's the hair you need to really look after. I mean, um, it, it gets dry, we're now experiencing winter in SA, so you want to keep your hair well moisturized. And you can see my curl, you can see that my hair is well hydrated because, as you can see here, my, my, there's a bit of a, there, there's a curl to my ends. So they are well hydrated and um, healthy ends. Okay. And then I'm going to finish it off with my favorite um, Jamaican black castor oil. 
I like to also focus on my hairline at this moment because, you know, castor oil, the benefits are endless with castor oil for your hair. I'm, I'm going to do another video describing and telling you guys what the benefits are, but it's amazing. It gives you a lot of volume. It gives you, um, for those of you suffering from a very thinning out hairline, which is most of our black sisters with all those tight braids and weaves, um, your, your castor oil is your best friend. So yeah, I've sealed in the moisture and I want to do my favorite Afro puff that so many of you guys ask how I get it done. Okay, so basically I like to use a little piece of cloth. Well, it's it's more of a nice uh, texture, like a ribbon, so, so that it doesn't break your hair. A lot of people use, I've seen uh, stockings. I found that old stockings actually break your hair and you really don't want to be doing that much damage. We love our hair, we've done so much to it already, we don't want to damage it. Just excuse my daughter in the background. Um, yeah, she's a part of my life, so she's gonna be in a lot of my videos. But hey, that's not um, taking away from the video so what I'll basically do is yeah I then you adjust it as much as you want to and as you can see okay guys so um yeah like you saw and also the other thing don't ever ever make it tight you know you don't want to have I mean I've done it before where I've had headaches during the day from making it too tight. So yeah, that's my, that's my Afro puff. And I'm ready to go, guys. I am loving how moisturized my hair is. My hair is popping and I'm loving it. You can just um, accessorize with, I'm loving these vintage Alice bands. So I literally have one in every color look. Ta-da, there we go, folks. That is your easy updo. You're going to work, you're going out to see the girls. Brunch, picking up the kids from school, whatever it is you do. Always look naturally beautiful while you're doing it. All right, love you guys, enjoy your Sunday and I will see you soon. God bless. Bye.